Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, brought to you by BetDSI, and I'm your host, Mitchell Renz. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for the latest Raiders news, rumors, and guess what? I got some Raider Nation rumors coming up in just a little bit. My first rumor here is around John Gruden and the Mike Mayock, and uh, does John Gruden have the final say when it comes to rosters and just all the movements this offseason? This one's for Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. Now, one week after being introduced as the new general manager, Mike Mayock explained that, hey, J John Gruden still has the final say. And ultimately, he explained their power dynamic between himself and Gruden. And in his comment is, in all honesty, John's got the final say. If it ever comes to that, I've got zero problem with that. Now, having said that, he goes into detail, I think we're going to come to consensus, and I like a little yelling, I like a little screaming, I like a little fighting for what players you believe in. But at the end of the day, I guarantee you John Gruden and I are going to know what a Raider looks like and smells like. I wonder how they're going to figure that out. And I don't think that we're going to have any issues. And I would hope they're not going to have any issues. I mean, at the end of the day, John Gruden's there for another nine years. Mike Mayock is an NFL draft expert, in my opinion. And I think when you're looking at draft talent and what they're going to be able to do, if Mike Mayock and John Gruden cannot argue... Well, I guess all married couples argue. I think if they didn't argue, that means they wouldn't care. But at the end of the day, if they can get along and come to the right consensus on what an actual Raider is, that's way that this is the way that this franchise is going to take that next step forward. So I got a little reaction pull for you, and I think it's a fun one. Are Mayock and Gruden going to get along? We know Chucky. I mean, heck, that's why I use my Chucky head, because John Gruden is a fiery dude, and Mike Mayock, I'm sure he's got a big ego being a GM. Heck, I got a big ego, and I run a Raiders report show. So, are Mike Mayock and John Gruden going to get along? If you're watching on Facebook, give me a like for yes or a laughing face for no. If you're watching on YouTube, give me, or just comment yes or no. Mayock and Gruden, are they going to get along uh, going forward? I know, Dom, you're laughing at me. What's going on, Raider Nation? You're watching the Raiders Report brought to you by BetDSI. And if you guys want to get on the show, you got to do this. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash the Raiders Report. It's the number one Raider show on YouTube. Thanks to everybody who subscribes. And if you want to get on Raider Nation Rumors, and guess what? I'm going to have that one coming on after this segment. You got to subscribe below. YouTube.com slash the Raiders Report. Next room around is uh, Jared Cook and... Are the Oakland Raiders going to resign the tight end? This one's three Chucky heads, and I think it's pretty likely. I almost want to give this one four Chucky heads because if the Raiders do not bring back Jared Cook, I am literally going to tie a noose around my neck and just let it go because he's been by far the best player the Raiders have had the last two years, especially he's been the best, most reliable option for Derek Carr. So to me, this one is still a no-brainer that they're going to bring him back. And I understand he's a free agent in 2019. And, you know, he's going to expect to sign a deal in two or three years. And even though he's 31 years old, I'm okay with it because he has been Derek Carr's go-to option the past two years. Like, they had Michael Crabtree and Mark Hoop last year. Guess who led the team in receiving yards? Jared Cook. This past year, over 100 targets, 68 catches, 896 yards, and six touchdowns. Like... I'm looking at Jared Cook, and he had a career year for a reason. I think he has a real chemistry with Derek Carr. And at the end of the day, like, I think we're just talking about, you know, just kind of what Jared Cook could be. And sure, he wasn't, I think, lived up to what he could have been, like, when he first came into the league. But Jared Cook's starting to find his way here with Derek Carr. And I think he's going to be back for two to three more years with the Raiders. So, Jared Cook had a career year with 896 receiving yards this past season. How many receiving yards is he going to have in 2019? Heck, I need to know for my fantasy teams because I had Jared Cook on all my teams this year, and I'm sure a bunch of you guys are curious as well. So how many receiving yards for Jared Cook in 2019 if he comes back with the Oakland Raiders? If you could bet on him having over 900 receiving yards, I might do it. So, hey, bet DSI, can we get on that? If you love betting on NFL games or anything like Raiders related, there's only one place to do it. It's chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code LIVE120 for 120% deposit bonus. Raider Nation, what does that mean? You put down $50, you get $60 for free. Put down $100, get $120 for free. Be a big baller like Jared Cook. Put down $500, get $600 for free. Raider Nation, shout out to Bet DSI for going to up with the best promo code on the internet. Next rumor here is around with Sean Melvin. And is Melvin going to come back in 2019? So Melvin is also going to be a free agent. This one, though, for me is only one Chucky head, and I just think it's a small shred of truth that Rashawn Melvin comes back. Now, I like Rashawn Melvin. He's a talented player, but when I look at what the Raiders, I think, are going to do going forward, I just don't really see Rashawn Melvin, you know, in the future. So, 
Melvin was brought in <clears throat> to be one of the starting cornerbacks alongside Gary and Conley this season, and he really struggled to make an impact early on. In fact, it wasn't until late in the season that he finally started to show the kind of promise the Raiders saw when they signed him to that one-year deal this past offseason. While Melvin finished strong, I just don't think he's ultimately going to come back. I think the Raiders are going to look at Daryl Worley. I think they're going to look at Nick Nelson. They're going to look at their younger players, and they're going to say, all right, Melvin, who's over 30 years old, he kind of struggled here and out. Heck, he even came out and said that he was done with the Raiders a few weeks ago. I'm looking at the Raiders. I'm looking at Mike Mayock. Don't be surprised if they invest in a cornerback. Heck, they could even invest in Greedy Williams, who I absolutely love. So I'm looking at the Raiders. I'm looking at Daryl Worley, Nick Nelson, two young players. They're going to build them, and I think they have the right pieces to do it. So Rashawn, I think you're going to be done in the silver and black. But let's take a look at his stats this past season. He started in only seven games for the Raiders. He did record 56 tackles, nine pass breakups, and one interception. But again, I'm looking at Nick Nelson, Daryl Worley, who I think they're going to step up, and Gary on Conley. And uh, Gary on Conley has been an absolute beast. So I got a question for y'all because this show isn't about me. In fact, it's more about y'all. Should the Raiders re-sign Rashawn Melvin? I want you to type R for re-sign or type C for cut if you're watching on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, literally anywhere that you see this video, should the Raiders re-sign re Rashawn Melvin? Type R for re-sign. Oh, man, I can't speak. Or type C for cut. I want to know from y'all. My next rumor here is around Seth Roberts, and I've been hyping up that the Raiders should cut Seth Roberts for weeks, months, heck, even over a year. And are the Raiders finally going to do it? This one's three chucky heads for me, and I think it's pretty likely. This is another one where I want to say four chucky heads, but if I say it's four chucky heads, it's 100% going to happen, and I think this one's like 99.9% .9 going to happen. So I'm going to give this one three chucky heads, and right now you're looking at Seth Roberts, and if the Raiders keep Roberts on the roster, it's going to cost them $4.65 million against the cap, which is just too high for someone who... Due to his production, I just don't think it's very sexy. If they decide to cut him, it would cost $0 in dead cap space, according to Spotrack. So, to me, it just makes a lot of sense for the Raiders to move on from Seth Roberts. Now, I think when Seth Roberts first came out near the NFL, you know, he had 480 receiving yards for the Raiders, five touchdowns, and I was like, okay, this kid might be pretty good. But I've seen Seth Roberts for four straight years. I want to see he's definitely not Marcel Aitman, and Jordy Nelson's going to come back, and I think, again, they're going to invest in wide receivers in the draft. I just don't think Seth Roberts is a part of this future that I see for the Oakland Raiders. And for that reason, I think he's going to be cut. So let's take a look at his 2018 stats of this past year. And he actually had a career high in receiving yards with 494. He had two touchdowns, 45 receptions on 64 targets. But again, that's 494 receiving yards. This is career high. In fact, the dude's never had over 500 receiving yards in four years. So when I'm looking at his yards per season, like... Is that really what I want to re-sign 4.65 million to? No, I mean 445 yards in 2017, 397 in 2016, 480 as a rookie. Like 480 is okay as a rookie, but for you to not be able to get over that 500 yard mark in some of the better years of Derek Carr, sure Carr, this is his first year he threw over for 4,000 yards, but man, I've seen Seth Roberts. This was his year to shine. When you're thinking about Amari Cooper leaving, thinking about Jordy being banged up for a little bit, Martavis Bryant out the door. He had plenty of opportunities to step up. Brandon LaFell went down. Guess what? At the end of the day, Brandon LaFell, or at the end of the day, Seth Roberts, uh, I think you're going to get cut there, homeboy. So, is it time for the Raiders to cut Seth Roberts? I want you to type Y for yes or type N for no. If you want to know what I think, I probably already gave it away. DM me on Twitter, at MitchellRens365. Next room here is around the 2019 NFL Draft. And uh, should the Raiders draft Montez Sweat with the 24th overall pick in the 2019 NFL Draft? This one's two Chucky heads for me, and people are talking. And now, I like this one because I like Montez Sweat. I think he's a good player, even though he might have a little bit of a salty last name. But this one's two Chucky heads for me. And the Raiders, since they do hold that 24th overall pick uh, in the 2019 NFL Draft, we know <clears throat> this is where... So a lot of people are like, okay, the silver and black, they need a pass rusher. And this is the pick that they ultimately gave up for Khalil Mack. So that's all that I'm just letting you know right now. When this pick is up on the board, that's the only thing that they're going to talk about is that this is originally Khalil Mack and they're going to look for a defensive end rusher. And, but I actually think if Montez Sweat's on the board, it's an interesting pick. So he led the SEC in sacks and tackle for a loss in 2017. And this past year in 2018, the dude was a stud again. So 53 tackles, 15.5 tackles for a loss, 12 sacks, and one forced fumble. Like, he's going to be able to add defensive pass rush to this Raiders team that definitely needs it. Heck, they had 13 sacks this past year. The next closest team had 30. Think about that for a second. Cleo Mack himself had more sacks. So, if the Raiders are on the clock and then I got the number 24 pick, would you want the Raiders to draft 
Montez Sweat at pick 24. I want you to type D for draft or type P for pass. D for draft, P for pass. Makes sense? And if you want to know what I think, DM me on Twitter, at MitchellRens365. My last rumor, and it's a juicy one, and I had this one on my last Raiders rumor show, and I talked about potentially Antonio Brown, or the Raiders trading for Antonio Brown. <clears throat> and originally, I gave it one Chucky head. Well, guess what? It's starting to stir up even more. And now, could the Raiders trade for Antonio Brown? This one now is two Chucky heads for me. And people are starting to talk. And the fact that this might actually happen, this is starting to get exciting. So there's a report out, obviously, that Antonio Brown wants to be traded from the Pittsburgh Steelers. And after the latest Antonio Brown rift with the Steelers, I think it might actually happen. And when you're talking about you know, people coming out and saying, like, potential trades. The dude's got three years left on his four-year, $68 million contract, and he's going to be 38 years old. But Peter King came out and said that there's four teams, four teams that could potentially trade for Antonio Brown. And, you know, it goes around and based on money and based on needs. And at the end of the day, if the Raiders are potentially in that final four teams that could potentially trade for Antonio Brown, we got to start talking about it a little more. And the teams that Peter King gave were the Oakland Raiders, the Carolina Panthers, the San Francisco 49ers, and the New York Jets. So if Peter King believes that those are one of the four teams that could get AB, that's interesting because, again, the Raiders have the money. They have potential draft picks, and he's definitely a fit. So all I'm saying is AB could be coming to the Raiders pretty soon. And when you look at his 2018 stats, I mean, this dude's an absolute beast. I mean, business is always booming for AB unless he goes up against Gary on Conley. So 104 catches, 1,297 yards, and a career-high 15 touchdowns for AB. So even though he's about to turn 31, doesn't look like this dude is slowing down anytime soon. And then his career stats are just absolutely jaw-dropping to me. 837 receptions, over 11,000 yards, 74 touchdowns in AB's career. The dude, again, is just an absolute monster. He's got a great career. So, <clears throat> I got a question for you. Would you want the Raiders to trade for Antonio Brown? If you're watching on Facebook, give me a heart for yes. Give me a wow face for no. If you're watching on YouTube, I want you to comment yes or no. Should the Raiders trade for Antonio Brown, who I think you could regard as the best wide receiver in the NFL right now? I'm going to say I, where I think the best shirts are in the world, it's Miz and Maine. And if you guys don't believe me, see for yourself. Go to www.comfortable.af because these shirts are indeed comfortable as F. They have sweat wicking technology. You can wear them to the gym. You can wear them to work. Heck, you can literally sleep in them, wake up the next morning, and wear them to work. I promise you, your boss, he won't notice a thing. Go to www.comfortable.af to see for yourself because these shirts are the best damn dress shirts you'll ever buy. And guess what? They are made in America. Rare Nation, I want to say shout out to all for watching. Remember, subscribe below to youtube.com slash Raiders Report to get on Raider Nation rumors. And uh, until then, go Raiders.